It was all Ken Shamrock, now all Kimbo Slice. Drop Shamrock, and the count for behind win. Now Anderson, and then it's all over. Connor Watanabe remains unbeaten. He's got it. Charles really staggering. Another left hand and another. He's done. Mighty Mo going in for the finish. That is it. A Mighty Mo like performance all the way. Man, right to the head. Very accurate. But a lot of them striking on the side of the head. A little too high for a clean knockout, but Mo just keeps punching. And you'll see this here, this shot Look at Mighty falls Mo to the ground. <laughs> he said that he believes that everyone thinks that he is going to lose, and thus he thinks that Maligari feels the pressure. He's only 23 years old. Does it ever come to a point, Jimmy, where you think, wow, what a great accomplishment. I went 15 rounds. I'd rather 15 minutes. 15 rounds would be a great accomplishment. 15 <laughs> minutes, three rounds. Well, I don't think DeVries thinking that way. He wants a victory, but he's behind in, in another game. And there is the tap. He said he couldn't be submitted, but forced to tap. DeVry on the bottom, popped up, got a little bit of distance, but you see he dropped his head, left his neck vulnerable, and a black belt like Malagari, he's never gonna pass that up, went for the guillotine, and this time got it deep enough, beautiful torque, ends up on top, and you're gonna get a tap every single time from that position. <laughs> for a power bomb, and he doesn't get it. Oh, might oh, have it. On. Going very hard is Karahanian. He's out. Talking to Herbdin is Karahanian saying this. Jenkins is out. He is. Technical submission win. Karahanian puts Jenkins to sleep. Down, especially the double leg and the high crotch. They can leave the neck exposed. Georgie Karahanian. Look at locking on this guillotine. He's out. He's out. To take this fight right now, I believe she has to have a big round or finish the fight. She's only finished two of her opponents in 15 professional fights. Stepping up here in competition, she takes the left, that stunned him. Silva in big trouble. She is in deep. The hammer fist from Anger Fist ended. Little check left hook, that hits hard. That right hand stuns her bad. She's in trouble. Look at her, she's wobbly. And then our lead comes, hammer fist. That's an anger fist. Beautiful stoppage. That's exactly what Diana Silva needed to do. There's that check I was talking about. There comes the left hand, that stunned her. The right hand then puts her where she's wobbly on the legs. Have come by way of knockout. Round number one underway. And boy, speaking about the fight between Mosiah and Patricky Pitbull in Japan. What a barn burner that turned out to be. Oh my God, that was so good. They both gave so much. And there's something about fights in Japan where you look and you go, these guys are just going for it, giving everything they have. Oh, oh. he's in trouble. It's over. And dropping Outlaw to fake Mosiah, making an emphatic statement. Watch him get hit. Right there in the temple. Look and at his legs. Yes, okay, he's him. stiff. He, has, he doesn't know how to control himself. Look at his hand up. He stumbles oh. against, and that hand drops him down in that fashion. He's been hurt twice. Keith Peterson does the right thing. Kimbo's out. Slice back to his feet and unloading with the right hand. It was all Ken Shamrock. Now all Kimbo Slice. Drop Shamrock. Slice. And Ken Shamrock wobbly getting up. Good stoppage by Big John McCarthy. That was a huge right hand. Ken wasn't coming back from that. Great finishing instincts by Kimbo Slice. Guillotine. He's got the face locked up. And it's there's the tap. It. Phenomenal comeback from Blagoy Ivanov. First round submission win. Get 
Turn from Laura. Trying to put a lot of heavy pressure on. Driving through wide base from Ivanov. Ivanov going now for the guillotine. He's got the face locked up. And it goes to tap. Phenomenal comeback from Blagoy Ivanov. First round submission win. It's good Not a comeback from adversity in this fight. A comeback from adversity in life, Jimmy. Yeah, good way to get back in the cage. First round submission. I think he's on to bigger and better things. It's good to see Blagoy Ivanov back. His life almost ended when he was stabbed February 26, 2012 in his native Sofia, Bulgaria. And tonight, here in Temecula, California, his MMA career resumes in big time fashion. With one of the greatest in Chris Cyborg. That was right there, what you see. Kavanaugh moving, using lateral movement. Don't allow Chris to throw that blitz and get you against the cage. Oh, and get She throws a shot, ends up with her back on the cage, and then bounces off of the cage, lands that right hand. Sinead still throwing, but that right hand lands again. Puts her down. You see her go out there. You saw her go limp. Turn from Laura. Turn to put a lot of heavy pressure on. Driving through wide base from Ivanov. Ivanov going now for the guillotine. Got the face locked up. And goes to tap. Phenomenal comeback from Blagoy Ivanov. First round submission win. You see it's this standing guillotine. Look at the torque. And there's the tap from Manny Lara. Lara just nowhere to go on that. Ivanov very powerfully built. That was a big slicing elbow by Bion. The real problem for Bjorn, all Bjorn needs to do, he needs to move his hips up higher. Bring them a little bit higher. And he has all the position in the world. The hips will be taken out of play. Now he's got his head higher like he wanted. Exactly. And just keep opening up on him. We're getting close. We're getting close. We're done. Good job, brother. You have a cut above your eye. One sec. Once you see. Now, with those hips coming up higher, you see the knees going under the arms of Zuko. Young's in a position just to launch an attack on him. Zuko right now has no defense. He doesn't understand how to get himself out. He's worn himself out trying to push and use power to get himself out. Now he's just eating shots. Big shot right there with the left hand. There was a left early in the sequence. That one right there, that's the one that opened up Zuko, and that changed the dynamic, which was already one-sided. Still switching to southpaw again, back to orthodox. So we talk about the mental game, and obviously a lot going on mentally. Oh, right hand, and it's over! Just like that, Josh Hill puts Jared Scoggins in airplane mode! Comes in, right hand, right on the chin. Scoggins is out as he falls. She's been able to utilize that right arm of Taylor's to stop what she was doing. Now she's got the back. Both hooks in, John. A lot of time left to work this. She's not even Move going Taylor. for that choke. She's trying Move to pound Taylor. on her. That left hand is doing some damage. It is all over. Alejandra Lara. It actually missed a little bit. It was more of Taylor Turner being able to sit back with it, but it was the posture of Alejandro Lara and some of these strikes, those left hands hit and hit He's the one that's landing the better shot. Oh, there's a liver kick by Prokop. 
full move fighting range that you're seeing. Brokop is the one that's landing the heavier strikes. Nasty knee and a nasty left up. Another left up is caught by Brokop. Well, he's got to move. He cannot take that type of shot. Nice. Oh, left hand. For the winner by unanimous decision, Marco Brokop. He is working so hard to try and control that posture. Look at the elbow there from Romero. He's getting hit with big shot. He is now having a good look at this. He stopped it. Yoel Romero makes it look so easy. Strikes. If he cannot control the posture of Yoel Romero, those are lots of ton of power coming that way. He's out at that first one and he eats two more. That's, that's middleweight weight. Guys, guys who fight at 185 pounds usually walk around 200, 205. So, I mean, can you imagine him at middleweight? Boom Boom based just outside of Paris and no weight cut. That's not atypical for European MMA yeah, fighters. Yeah, you know, we've done a lot of fights in Europe and European fighters don't typically cut a lot of weight. Good right hand! They both do simultaneous left hooks. Bang, that right hand right on the chin. And that second shot put him out for good. You see there's that wide left hook. Just a little too wide. He caught one right on the chin and then that uppercut. Man, there was nothing left in him. Bernal dominating the ground game here in the second stands up. Rogers giving up his back, back again fence. against the fence, the fence though. And Bernal. Continues to try to soften up Rogers, looking for a potential submission. Yeah, and he's got it and right now. He's got that arm in position. He's to lock it up the right way. He was going palm to palm. He can get this right now. That is tight. And that's it. Mads Burnell records his ninth submission win, improving to 15 and three. Right here, you saw once he got that arm around the neck, he didn't go for the lock. He went palm to palm and squeezed, and, and it's the ability to Press in with the chest, have a big chest of air, create that squeeze that even though it's not locked, it's so tight, you're either gonna have to tap or nap. Uh, you know, the, a lot. You know, David is a guy that I said from the outset, I think could be, has what it takes to win this tournament. He's got so much heart, it's just hard not to root for David A, man. Been through so much. Oh, the huge right hand for Omar De La Cruz. Mike Reed has called an end to the action. Omar oh. De La Cruz moving on to the welterweight tournament final. But De La Cruz just constantly battered Manet. He threw a big right hand over the top and bounced Manet's head off the canvas. And then another one that followed up. Just massive onslaught of huge punches there. Doing a great job to, uh, to stay on him. And De La Cruz here throws the right hand to Josh Manet again. And a couple punches all the way down. And the ref decide that was it. Sassy, Beta, Couture, Henderson, Sonnen. The list just goes on and on. Knockout win against Randy Couture. So many fights with Shad Evans. Oh, oh He's got it. He's got it. The chin is in massive trouble. Edwards! That's a huge win. That elbow strike that we talked about on the exit, he did it again, and that's what started the fall of Leota Machida, he followed it up. Watch the elbow. He gets legs, can't hold him up. The left hand lands. One shot there and he's out. Right now he's going for that rear naked. It's tight, you're seeing him reach up with both hands. Nice job of getting it off. The good news for Piccolotti is that a lot of his defense here has been good. The bad news is he's been on defense the entire fight. Oh, that's tight. He ran out of escapes. He ran out of defense. And it was worth the wait for Mansoor Barnawi. This guy takes positions and turns things around on his opponent without them realizing it's starting to happen. And then when he gets the back, it's just a matter of time before he gets that rear naked choke. There was no knockdown. Boy, he just touched the bar with a nice shot. Right, in so many ways. But that guy, wow. Big time. Uchimata throw by. 
better round for Lombardo to this point because he had closed the distance. Now they're back at distance. At he's range. got problems. At range, he's, he's not as effective. I'll have it for the winner by unanimous decision, Levon Kelly. Do damage and get the win. So Whiteford at uh, Southpaw stars, very, very slippery. Can switch. That was a good oh, shot. Oh, shot. Oh, shot. Oh, shot. Right there, he's hurt. That uppercut really buzzing. He gets hurt again, but you gotta let him fight through that. Did not go down. That was a tough moment, and I can understand why the referee stopped it. But Robert Whiteford is a veteran fighter who's been in these types of situations before. He's trying to grab hold. That's a smart move by him at that time. He covered up instinctively before Abdul Razak even went in to try and finish. Trying to use his legs to keep Razak at a distance. And he did for the moment. Razak not letting him off the hook. Now transition to the heel hook. He's got oh, he almost had a turn. Very hard to finish against a standing opponent. Two finishers who can finish in a variety of ways. That's it. A spectacular overhand right by Abdul Razak, and it is over. Coming in with his chin a little too high, caught one behind the ear. That is a knockout shot. That made his balance go, but look at this one. This one on the chin, man, collapsed him. Beautiful shot by Razak. Be careful with those up kicks. Kelly Onadu landing heavy ground and pound now. Now she believes she can find the finish. Kelly Onadu. What a performance. This is right at the end of the second round. There is one life changing performance right there. This is where it went to the cage. You saw Kate taking a beautiful backside takedown, puts her on her back. But Kalyanadu did not settle for anything. She reversed the positions, and then when she got to the top and started landing heavy ground and pound, there was no ability for Kate to stop the posture, no ability in the end for Kate to stop the shots. He took himself, said, I'm moving to the US. I'm going to go with the coaches and the athletes. They're going to make me the fighter that's going to win a world title. Look at what he's doing. Coming up next, after the main event. Oh, All right, that goodness. hurt me. Wow, you that can hear right it. there, man, that hurts, and uh, the damage it's doing. Oh, beautiful! Boom! Boom! Look at that knee. As soon as it connected, he was out. Switches. Boom! Right behind the ear. Beautiful knockout by Adam Borsch. What an explosion! And yes, fans at home, you heard an Irish crowd boo a referee because Conor McGregor went after him. Trying to finish it quickly is Kavanaugh. Oh, she's all over her already. Going to slide into full mount. Went from bad to worse very, very quickly. Oh, my goodness. It is over just like that. This whole fight could be a replay. The right hand drops her, went for a takedown, but nothing behind it at all. Just a straight blast right hand. Didn't even land that cleanly. Just knocked her head back. And after that, look at the full mount. Ground and pound, nowhere to go. Kicks his way into a tight clinch, gives some knees, and continues to stalk. Zaka, now he's got a hold of him. Things could have just got from bad to worse, Big John. Yeah, that is not a good thing for Zaka. He does not want to be on the ground underneath Aviv Gozali. He's already got his hand in a very good position right now. Gozali, very smart right there. You saw he pressured on the head. He realized, nope, that would be an illegal strike. Didn't take it. He's, going, he's got that anaconda choke. Oh, oh, it is all over. Just like this. As we look at it, Take a look what he locks up. That anaconda choke. 
He brings him over on top, and once he are in the top position with that choke, and you can flex that back, it is over. Cassell trying to drive through. We'll see who ends up right to the triangle. Trying to lock it in early in this fight. The defense is causing him a problem with where it's at. Dan Cassell going to try to loosen that lock it's with tighter a couple now. punches in the face. He's pulling down on the... Yeah. And it is all over! Just like that! Nicolo Sully! Cassell gets himself back, as we've talked about, centering back up but falls right into a triangle choke, and it's the angle that's giving him the problem. When you see Sully bringing himself, pulling himself, now he's at an angle against that. It intensifies the choke. And a left hook connects for Jason Jackson. You can see Jason Jackson time, he's throwing a lot of looping punches, but they're still landing on Jordan. And Jordan is not being able to get this fight where he wants it. The speed is starting to cause him problems in the fight. Just took another big right. Oh, no. This could be it. Big shots from Jason Jackson. And it is all over. Jason Jackson with the victory as he finishes Jordan Larson. Let's take a look at this shot right here. Right hand straight down the pipe by Jason Jackson. Beautifully done. You can see the effect that it has. It dis just discombobulates. Jordan Larson there, that's a heavy attack. You see that he starts covering up, doing nothing to defend in an intelligent fashion. That's why the referee stops it. Not a lot of those working as far as landing with any power, but you look at Watanabe, he's working towards the back. Ioani gives the back, she's in deep trouble now. Time to finish here for Kana Watanabe. Bad spot for the Brazilian. And again, those punches are just not that powerful, but that's, it can add up. She just does that, she's hiding. Devin McDonald will stop it if all she does is hide. And she can't defend yep. herself, and then it's all over! Kana Watanabe remains unbeaten in her professional career. Takedown secured by Onblinskis. Milliard. What Onblinskis did in that second round and just went right back to in the third round. He changed the complexity of the fight by utilizing the takedown. All have it for the winner by unanimous decision, Julius Onblinskis. Still hanging on to the neck, he might go for it. He needs full guard and mount. And he on has it now, out. guillotine. Full crank now. I think we're gonna see a tap here in a second. Oh, so much torque on that. You Tremendous see, torque. See the strain on the face of Vila and, and the tap. Just like that, a first round win. And it started here, look at that beautiful mount. Form all, all the way under the chin of Avila. Avila just didn't have anywhere to go, fought it as long as he could. Can't question his heart, but he was stuck in a tight, tight submission. High head in this position is usually the one that's going to come out on top. It's that fight IQ, isn't it, of, of Dante Skiro here? These guys are locked up inside. I love what I'm seeing right now because they're both knowing. Skiro wants to pop his head out, Pokleet wants to. This is it. Neither guy can do it. There it comes once it comes up. It up to the top. He's out. Wow. Wow. Brian minus Oren. And as he turns here, look at Dante Skiro, but he ends up where Poclete has his head. Notice where his arm's at across. You see Skiro having his arm crossing over into his neck. That's the choke that you're seeing from Poquet. And then all of a sudden, top it kind of pitches you in the pelvis. Final seconds of a very impressive round one. And it is all over. What a performance. Kind of throws like a little slapping punch to the, like a hook, but then just clinches from there and then throws the, the switch knee right to the head. Beautiful job.
Musasi looking to perhaps secure Mount on Salter instead just pops him on the ground delivering a steady diet of right hand some of them sneaking through this guard of Salter referee on top of the action it's a championship fight but John's got to do something to stop what Gegard's doing the Musasi onslaught ends with Gegard Musasi look at the difference look at the posture see how he's got distance Distance equals escape, but when you're John and Salter power. and you're tired, for Gegard, it's meaning power. He's putting big, heavy shots on him. Salter can do nothing to stop the attack, and referee Dan Mergulata brings an end to it. But the elbows continue to come from Wilson. His elbows are coming, and Pedro is still rocked. Look at him step over for that mount position. Full mount achieved by J.J. Wilson. Fight out of there. Round and pound. Wilson looking for his eighth consecutive win, and he gets it in round two. The biggest triumph of his career. J.J. Wilson is the truth. By J.J., and then that position he tries to take him you see JJ once he steps over he's got that arm in position he opens up from the mount you see Carvalho trying to stop all of the shots he gets to that side and when you see the side referees don't like to see a guy floundering with his legs up in the air taking shots unable to stop those shots watch your fingers range is going to be everything here that's why these opening moments so important oh did he catch him or just lose his footing? He caught him. It's and he's over. in trouble, and what a stunner. You can just replay the whole fight. Look at this. Just a jab. A short jab over the top. That stunned Fialu. And he is out of it. I thought maybe there's some ground and pound we didn't see. Basically, that jab did it. Some follow-up punches, but this is in real time. Just looked like a jab. Couple of right hands finished him off. Five knockouts for both, two submissions by both, and I have a feeling that this fight is going to end with a knockout. Palomino getting it done with his feet, the front leg kick. Oh, and at no sooner do I speak, Palomino throws a big right hand, and it's... Oh, the referee said it's all over. Yeah, John Shorley steps in. Nick Gonzalez wanted to have a chance to recover. Luis Palomino celebrating. Yeah, this was a big punch. You see, he threw a left hand and a right uppercut that just snuck in there on Gonzalez and it knocked him on his butt. A couple of big right hands there, and the referee from his vantage point, it appeared that Nick Gonzalez was covering up and not able to intelligently defend himself. You see here that right lands right on the chin, and Palomino does a good job of following that up with a few hands. From the referee's standpoint, Nick Gonzalez puts his hands up, and it, it was all over. Ryan Healy, a banger, a brawler, very heavy-handed, throws a lot of punches. Not a fun guy to strike with. He oh, is right here by Hill, looking to finish with ground and pound, and he does! I take that back, I guess he is fun to strike with. Sorry, I jinxed that for you, Ryan. Bang, right to the chin. Followed him down to the mount, and that is all she wrote. Beautiful shot, and the presence of mind to take the mount and finish it. Settled down with his hips. Boom. And now it's Caballo attacking the back of Cecilia. This is the norm that happens with Sam. He makes big movements to get himself up onto his feet. And he creates a situation where now you got Carvalho with his back. Caballo looking for that rear naked choke. And it is Cecilia has been submitted three times via this form of submission. And and Caballo looking for it again, there's a tap! And Pedro Caballo improving to a perfect 4-0 and oh in Bellator. You see him from this position, you see that Sam has his arm being controlled. And once he decides to bring that, he starts to crank down. It's a big squeeze, palm to palm grip. A lot of pressure on that jaw. Too much for Sam, he has to tap to do it, but he's feeling something out of Nemco. Oh, he's being impacted. Oh, he's done. It's done. It's over. Can he survive? Hater trying to hold on. Wow, Ryan Bader is tough. Ryan Bader trying to get back up. Ryan's trying to hold on here. My goodness. Doing everything you can, crabbing gloves, everything. 
I don't blame him. He's in deep trouble here. There's too much time left on this clock. He's taking a lot of shots. He's up, at yeah, least for now, though. Hurt. It's that's done. It, that's it. Stop, it is stop. all over! Vanib Nepkov! Set up with the combinations earlier in the fight. Now followed up with a beautiful head kick. And the reason why it worked is because every time Ryan Bader backed up, he backed up reaching out with his hands and he leaned his upper body back. He didn't move his feet with him. Look, you see it right there. He turns his head that hits square to the back of the head, but that's a legal shot. That took our friend Francis in here as well. Sanders took another peep up with the clock. 22 seconds left. Maybe White could still hurt. Sam's already tired, he's kind of rocked there. Now he starts backing away. And Whiteford did a great job of picking and choosing his shots and not rushing the combination. You said, Jimmy, no feeling out process. I'm going to close the distance, clinch and take down. He's coming straight at Attila Bay, hands high. He wants to get inside and use his wrestling. Take from the southpaw stance, now switches to the conventional stance. He's gonna stay on his bike. Oh, here it's out by Bay! He's done! He's done! Here it's out! It's out, is it? A lightning strike win for Attila Bay! Bang, right there, behind the ear. The rest of those shots, uppercut right through the center, didn't really land, but that right hand behind the ear. Triangle locked on, Jensen looking for the first round submission finish. Grove trying to power his way out, and he does. Now letting go with the shots! Forearms, elbows, more right hands from the top by Grove. Uh, Jensen's about out, and he and is. That is it. First round TKO win for Neil Grove, just like that. Unbelievable. Both guys said this is going to, I shouldn't say unbelievable. Both guys said it would end in the first round. It did end in the first round, and it's Neil Grove victorious. I'm sorry, Zach Jensen trying to target the ribs. Neil Grove going off on the head. And. End of the fight, Neil Grove on top, looking for the finish, and it was just an accumulation of shots. I don't see any one shot really rocking him that badly. That one on the chin hurt him, but just couldn't overcome the avalanche. Easy take down, easily tries to hang on. Garcia tried an early pass and couldn't get it. He has not fought with a lot of uh, fear and concern about what Alex Reed could do. And I takes think it a lot down of again. it is because of that takedown. Yeah. He knows that's in his back pocket whenever he needs it. Reed to get inside and look for that takedown. And here we go again. That's easy. I'll have it for the winner by unanimous decision, Manuel Garcia. Past that cliff. <laughs> I'm going to go out on a crazy limb and say Suriname's one of the, like eight places in the world he's never been. Yeah. I have been to Suriname. I knew it. Oh, oh my goodness. It's over. It's over. Oh my goodness. Big left hook. Sometimes you don't need the cardio. Watch the left hand. Boom, right there on the chin. You see him going down. He's stunned. Dan Mergelotta gives him a chance. He goes out right yeah, there. Yeah, he was not defending himself in any way. Nope. That was a good stoppage by Dan. That was exactly what he's supposed to do. Big left hand, and he was circling into it, which only intensified the power on it. Right up the middle of that kick. Yeah, nice right hand man there. Showcasing his karate a bit. Long happy to stay in the pocket. Oh, big spinning back fist. Head is all over. Just like that. When I talked earlier, this is what I was talking about. These are the things that we people do in training, but young guys, they go out there and they do them in the fight. You'll fight. Gotta do something, Josh. Do something. Who's they mayor just can't miss Jimmy? Elbows, forearms, left hands. Lanier trying to come out the back door. 
Uzdemir staying calm. It's not going to take a lot for him to finish this fight, Sean. Oh, nice forearm strike. Brutal shots, and that is it! TKO win for Volkan Uzdemir in his Bellator debut. Left hands, right hands, short shots. This is what set it up. Uzdemir sat up, and once he got this mount, that's when he really reined it on Lanier. Short elbows, short punches, but tight with the position. Lanier talked about his grappling credentials, but could not escape from this position. Good stoppage by the rest of the couple team. more with those when you throw those combinations. Don't just stop. I know he's worried about the takedown. He should be. Yep, right there you have it. To your hearing. That was a pretty hard kick to the body. Roberto finds up in the dominant position out of the scramble late in the round. I'll have it the same 30 to 27 for the winner by unanimous decision. Sharoff, Sharon Davlamorado. Red, you good? Blue, you good? Round one, come on. And immediately, Zorchev chops him down with a leg kick. I was going to say the Sarchum's going to try to actually keep this on the feet because he's much faster. Oh, he's in trouble. Big, big trouble, and we're done. And one of the fastest knockouts in Bellator history. Charlie Milner trying to get himself back, tries to guard up, but it's the big elbow right there, and then heavy shots from Gohan. He goes after him. Vicious. Comfortable from his back, but as we say time and time again, John, you don't want to accept this position. Yeah, if you end up accepting it, and let, it's okay if you have a dynamic submission game and you're able to catch guys. But if you don't, that's what's going to happen. You're going to end up eating one shot. It's going to change everything. Final minute of the second round, some ground and pound from Yakshamuradov, and the fight is being waved off. Rafael Carvalho hurt, and Dovoljan Yakshamuradov snaps his two-fight losing streak and picks up his first win here in Bellator MMA. Yakshamuradov, watch this elbow. That elbow, and this is what I was talking about. Watch what happens when the elbows start to hit. He lands one big one right here. That changes everything. Look at the reaction of Carvalho. Everything now is all about just covering up. And Lemon is a good wrestler. He knows how to get up. There's just a pressure there that is telling him, I can't. Yeah, he was. Not bad. Legendary in Happy Valley. You got 15 seconds, Mark. 15 seconds. Round one for 23 and 0. Yurislav Amazov. And it's not over yet. Keep threatening. Keep threatening. You could definitely look at this round 10 8. Did you have domination of position, domination of the action? Any cut that is going along with the lines of the face, that's usually a good cut. It's a cut that they'll allow to go. It's when it starts to cross multiple structures, up and down cuts, and placement. Yeah, it is all over. No, 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 you can see. It's all over. To try to use to break Horaguchi's rhythm. And there's a jab from Horaguchi that lands. Look at that shot right on the jawline. Horaguchi is out going down. That's why you fight the fight, and that's why championship fights are five rounds. Take a look at how fast this truly happens. Here comes the kick. It misses both. I was in Malilo's corner. I want him to. Get position. If you're going to strike on the ground, make sure that you're not in a position where he can get anything or back out and get this fight back to your feet. Comes a foot block position. He's going for a knee bar right now, Mike. 
He's keep that extended. He's got a real ability to get it now. It's bad. Trying to lock it in. Yep. And it is all over. Just like that. Lewis Long with another submission victory. This knee bar, you saw Giovanni almost get his leg back. And he would have tried to get his other leg figure for it, but he wasn't able to. You see Lewis Long extends pressure with the hips. That knee bar is hyperextending that knee. That is a bad position to be in. You see the bend on the leg. Beautiful submission by Lewis Long.